Michael Butchers has died at his home in Belfast. William Moore, who was 59, was found alone. The serial killer was involved in nearly 19 murders in Belfast during the 1970s. Lyle Donnelly reports. William Moore, age 30, said to be a leader of the gang who had pleaded guilty to 11 murders, received 14 life sentences plus another 167 years for other offences. Rob An ITN report from February 1979, the day 11 members of the Shankled Butchers were sentenced to 42 life sentences for the murders of 19 people. And William Moore, who was found dead at his Mount Vernon home yesterday morning, was one of them. Moore, who had worked in a butcher, supplied the knives and meat cleavers used in the slaughter. He and several others, including Lenny Murphy and Basher Bates, were responsible for 19 sectarian killings between 1975 and 1977. All of their victims were innocent Catholics. The butchers would cruise around in a black taxi and single out their victims, then drag them into the car, savagely beat and butcher them. Six of their victims had their throats cut. One of them was Joseph Morrissey, whose body was found in Glencairn. People were terrified. Uh, no one walked at night. This place, the, where we are now, as you can see, is, is still derelict. It never recovered from the 70s. No one walked at night. And individuals were simply lifted uh, on the Cliftonville Road. It was the original murder mile uh, and just taken away. So uh, it tended to be people who were drunk or who hadn't been able to get any money to get a taxi. But you couldn't in those days. Because it was impossible, there was no public transport, the lights were shot out by the army and the IRA. And what would you say is the legacy of the, the Shankle Butchers? Well, I mean, it's it's uh, the worst sort of sectarian murders that, that happen. People still remember them, they'll never forget them. This massive wall here dividing the two communities, and those murders enhanced this separation and polarisation of the communities. For a long time, the police struggled with the case, but ironically, the butchers were finally brought to justice by a man they thought they had killed. That man's name was Gerard McCleverty. He died last year, aged 50. This man was, was, was found horribly mutilated, it has to be said, and, and on the verge of death. But he made a, mar a miraculous recovery, um, and the police managed to persuade him uh, some weeks later to get into the back of one of their unmarked cars. It was the day of an election. Uh, the streets were busy with people and they drove him up to Shankill Road uh, and he was able to identify people standing outside bars and various locations along Shankill Road and he was able to say, there's one on there and he pointed at Billy Moore. During the trial, the court was told it was Moore who cut the victim's throats. Derek Henderson, who covered that case, says that there wasn't an ounce of remorse. There was no regret. There was no expressions of, 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 uh, of uh, looking for forgiveness. Absolutely nothing. They just turned on their heels and disappeared down into the tunnel and into jail. The judge said most of the butchers should never be released, but that all changed with the signing of the Good Friday Agreement. Moore died alone in his flat in North Belfast yesterday. His death is not being treated as suspicious. Niall Donnelly, UTV Live Tonight.